Hello there, my name is Fancy, and this is VR tutorial how to make bowling in VR. You know, it's VR tutorial in Unreal Engine. Ta da! Alrighty, first thing we will do is to create our VR project. So let's launch your engine and we will create new project which will be game and we want a VR game preset which is right there. Make sure that you have your VR headset already connected, it will help. Do -do -do. In my case it's Oculus Quest, in your case it can be whatever you want. Uh, uh, Unreal uh, works with anything, probably. Click next, everything set as I have. We don't need starter contact. Let's use let's use desktop and console and in blueprint. And let's call it bowling. Oh come on. Bowling VR. Next thing we will do is to get us some assets. Lucky for you, I have spent countless hours researching on the internet and finding just perfect bowling ball and pins for you. So you can have it in the description. There is a link. And I will import it right here. It's just one folder, bowling. Let me quickly show you just to be sure. Take it and put it right here. Click on import all. And one important thing, these are not mine assets. I have found them on Sketchfab for free. So there are links for the original creators and you can support them if you will, if you will want in any way. Okay, click on OK. Dismiss any new plugins and save all. Click on save selected so it stays in your game and you can see that you have two new folders ball and pin but to actually get it into vr we need to route a different map and that will be clicking on virtual reality bp and maps and motion controllers map okay wonderful and now let's just test it out in play and there is an arrow and click on it and uh, enable a VR preview. Okay, there is one thing I have noticed. I don't have my Steam VR on, so you need to enable Steam VR as well if you want it to work. It usually enables it by itself, but in this time it for some weird reason didn't, so I will just do it by hand. It takes a while, a while to load in my case, but after that it should work just fine. Okay, just to test it out, we will teleport towards this table. In, the, in my glasses it's a little bit laggy this time, that's because I'm recording, hopefully it doesn't look that bad on the screen and you can take any of these items and move them around, throw it around at that. And I'm going to stop this preview because my computer will go crazy probably. Now we need to do something with these assets that we have imported. So let's click on our bowling and let's start with pin. Click on it. And firstly, let's uh, do something with this material, pin baked. And you simply need to match these maps to these materials. And now let's get to making that game really a game. So let's go to Virtual BP Blueprints, and there you have BP Pickup Cube, which are these one. What it basically is uh, is that blueprint that already has some ability to be picked up, be thrown away, enable gravity, and all this funny stuff, which is exactly what we need. So let's copy it by clicking Control C, go back to our content, bowling, and create a new folder, which will be called Blueprints. Okay, enable, uh, click on it, if you enable it, if you will, <laughs> okay, and paste it in. Okay, double click on it, and let's change it uh, for a better. And that means by creating a ball out of it. Uh, so let's click on this little arrow. And now put here this ball, okay, compile, and we need to make it a little bit bigger, because if you put it right in the scene, it probably won't look, won't have my right size. Yes, it definitely doesn't. So let's set the scale, make sure it's locked, and set the scale to about twice that, which means 0 0.4. Gravity should be already enabled, and you can test it by putting it a little bit up and clicking on this arrow again and clicking on simulate. And it seems just fine. You can move it around and it should act accordingly. And it seems like it does pretty much. Okay, stop it. And let's create another one. Oh, one more thing we need to do with our assets. I have just remembered. Click on it. And we need to look at our collisions. 
And as, and you can see these collisions are a little bit too edgy, I would say. It's pretty edgy. So let's delete them, click on collisions and remove collisions. After that, click again on collision and add sphere collision, which seems to match, match it perfectly. And if you save it, you could see that your asset should act much more like a ball. Wonderful. It's really rolling. It's rolling, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, stop it. And next thing we'll do is to play with our pins. Again, we need to change its collision a little bit, because if you look at it, it's pretty much not accurate, and we need to make it much more accurate in this case. So let's again delete it, delete, remove collisions, and we will use this convex decompose. If you don't have it, simply click on collisions and Basically, it should be this auto convey collision, which will enable this. So we will set it to, let's say, 8 and click on apply. And that should create much better collisions around that. Okay, click on save, close it, and then we need to copy it in blueprints again. So let's click Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And now it's ideal time to rename it. So let's that first one rename to ball. And second one to pin. Okay, click on pin and change mesh again. Right here, pin, because that's how it should be named. And compile. Okay, now let's try to put it into game. And it seems like it's a little bit too big, so let's change its scale. Oh, of course, because it's 0 0.4 and we want 0 0.2, it's original size. Compile and put it up a little bit and again try if it works. And I am a little bit afraid that it doesn't hold that well. Let's simulate again and it's falling. Okay, we will have to adjust its collision again. So let's go to our pin. Open it and let's rework that collision. Let's delete the one we already have and set it a little bit higher to, for example, 16 and 20. Apply if it works, save and see if it works now. And it still doesn't work. And I'm afraid that in this case we will have to use its original collision because I don't want to actually try to find the right value right there. If you want, you can spend a lot of time with it and play as much as you want. And let's try this one. Just to being able to demonstrate it, let's use this one. Yep, collision at 18 day OP simplified collisions. And let's see if it will work. And it holds, wonderful. If you want, you can play with it and find just the perfect value for you that will much more accurately represent how it actually looks. And just to see if our bowling actually works, let's try to test it. So click Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and again, and try to create here a little bit more of them. And let's try to just throw our ball at it. Okay, simulate. Take your ball and throw it at it. And it seems like it works wonderfully. Just a physics, guys. Okay, so next thing we will do for it is to change its environment a little bit so it actually looks right like bowling. Place where you play bowling. I don't know how is it called. Just bowling, right? <laughs> okay, let's just rescale it so you can't run out of there. And Copy it. I am doing it. I am going to do it just really simply like this, but you can play with it and create your perfect uh, arena for bowling. As I said, I don't know where you play bowling. Not really. <laughs> okay. And now let's quickly adjust it so it actually looks like a bowling gaming zone. That's much better name, gaming bowling zone. Okay, and quickly test it. Oh, seems fine. Let's throw a ball at it, and it seems nice. Some of them will fall down eventually. 
<laughs> okay, uh, to be honest, I have no idea if bowling pins looks like that, that set of bowling pins, but I'm just gonna trust that it does. You can find uh, something on Google and have a uh, better representation. Okay, now to make it a little bit uh, easier to move around, let's group it together. So select all of them. Right click, okay, right click, and there should be, no, not the merge actors, but group them. Or you can press Ctrl G. Okay, move them a little bit like this. Ah, we missed one. Okay, we will have it without it. Deal with it, mate. You are not going to be part. And let's try to do it in VR. Hopefully it won't lag that much now. Okay, it's much easier because I have set up recording setting a little bit different. Hopefully it doesn't change quality of video that much. So I need to move here. Hopefully you won't see that I don't have pens. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> okay, let's move a little bit back and try to throw it at it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really best bowling player to be, but I'm one of pretty good developers, so what I will do is to really smash all of that. Wonderful. Let's try it again. Okay, done. That's how you make your bowling game. <laughs> Wonderful. Seems like it works pretty well. So, what we will do now is to set up here some system that will count if we have if we have uh, throw down some of these pins some of these pins so to do that we need to create another blueprint let's go to virtual reality B now we were in bowling blueprints create blueprint class actor and let's call it score count okay open it and put here box collision Let's scale it down along the axis and much bigger on other axis. Okay, put it into game. And it should be just above a floor. And we can scale it a little bit more even. Okay, that's about what I wanted. So let's open it now and create here a new text com add component text text render. And now we need okay, let's put the text here. Make sure in game it looks just as you need. And now it's the other way around. So let's rotate it. That actually happens to me every time I'm trying to add text in there okay and let's create uh, have it a little bit bigger x and uh, y always I don't know how you say it just let's adjust the word size so I don't need to say this scale <laughs> let's set it to I don't know 80 come on 80 because I like round numbers compile it and see how it looks like in game Seems pretty good to me. Now we need to set something that will actually tell that score what it should be. So let's edit it and create here a new variable which will be set score, set to score, and it should be integer. Compile, viewport, and now what we will do is click on this text, and there should be no, actually, we will. I'm sorry, you will take it into event graph and take it from event geek. So let's take our text render, take a pin from it and set text. Set text and the text will be our score. So get score and connect it here. Okay, and let's set it that it should minimum of three numbers. Okay, compile and now it should be 0, 0, 0 because our score is set to 0. So let's look at it again and it's 0, 0, 0. Wonderful, just what we need. Okay, click on escape again to escape out of that game. And what we will do now is to click at our pin again, viewport, and we will add here collision. Oh, just by the way, I can 
the Danu. If you are not satisfied with how physics is set in your game, don't feel it's realistic or whatever, you can adjust it here. You can enable this mass ink, uh, mass in kilograms, which means how heavy that object actually is, and adjust it so it's much more to your liking. Or you can just let this disabled and adjust scale. But be careful with that because it can look really bad, really weird in VR. Okay, so let's back to our score. Add here component and it should be box collision and put it up right in here. Let's cover all this upper part of our pin. Okay, compile. And you can see it's on all of them because we have copied these blueprints several times. And now what oh, I need to get back there. Sorry, I didn't mean to close it that fast. And what we will do is to add here on component begin overlap. And from that cast to our score count. Other actor set to other object, other actor as object. And we will set score to score. We need another reference for score. And set it to plus and integer plus one. So what this will do is to take our score, ask what is score, and once it will know it, it will add another one to it. So every time this collision will attach these collisions, it should add the one to your score, which means anytime this will go down. And as I'm looking at it, it may be actually a better idea to scale this up a little bit along this axis. So let's set it to four. We will see what it will do. Okay, it moved it a little bit down. So let's move it up again and let's test it in VR. Okay, here I am in VR taking my controllers. Why, why do I narrate that? I'm not a, some freaking let's player. <laughs> okay. Teleport. I am teleporting by pressing A, by the way. And you can see that there is triple zero, which means I haven't thrown anything. And let's touch this and throw it at it. Some of them should hopefully fall. And if they will fall enough, our score will go up. I'm showing it because I see it there. <laughs> These VR tutorials are so fun. I'm going to do them. A lot of them. Okay, let's. I will just again smash it all down. Because I want to have that high score. And now my score is 24. Great. See? That's how you play it. Okay. That's about it, I suppose. Now you know how to make terrible hair, because that's what you will have always from VR. <laughs> okay. Uh, now you know how to make your P VR bowling. Hopefully you are done it already. And that's about, that's about it from me. In the description is Discord. So if you made VR bowling or any interesting VR game, uh, join our Discord and show it to me because I would love to see it. And that's about it. See ya.